Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to prepare chicken bread pakora. Let's see what all ingredients we need. For that I have taken 300 gram of chicken. It's a boneless chicken. 2 shallots, 1 piece of ginger, 6 or 7 cloves of garlic, 1 small green chilli, 4 or 5 curry leaves, 235 ml of basin or gram flour, half bunch of cilantro leaves, Half teaspoon of bicarbonate soda. One teaspoon of chili powder. I have taken cashmere chili powder. Half teaspoon of chicken masala. Two pinch of asafoetida powder or hink. One teaspoon of turmeric powder. Half teaspoon of pepper powder. Half teaspoon of garam masala. And we need 4 slices of bread. I have taken wheat bread. You can choose any bread. And we need oil. Salt as needed. And butter. So let's see how we are going to prepare this. For making this pakora, I am going to do three steps. First step, we have to cook the chicken with salt, little bit of turmeric powder, chicken masala, and little bit of pepper powder. Second step, we have to make the chicken masala. For the filling. Third step. We will see how to cook pakora. I have kept one pan. So now I am going to keep the chicken. With that I am going to add. Turmeric powder. One four teaspoon of turmeric powder, salt as needed, after adding turmeric powder and salt, I am going to keep the lid for cooking. Once the chicken is half cooked, I am going to add the chicken masala and the pepper powder to the mix. To the chicken and we can give a good stir. And we can keep the lid again for cooking. Now I have opened the lid and I am keeping it in the high flame to the water to drain out. As you can see the water completely got dried up and all the masala spotted well with the chicken. So we can switch off the flame now. Thread the chicken with the fork. If you want, you can give a one pulse in the mixy jar.
as a second step for the filling we are going to make the chicken masala for that i have kept one pan in a hot pan i am going to add oil i am adding only 2 tablespoon of any cooking oil you can add once the oil is hot i am going to add chopped ch shallots green chilli and curry leaf if you don't have shallot you can use onion once the shallot change the color i am going to add ginger garlic paste once the raw smell goes from ginger garlic i am going to add the chili powder I am going to add half of the chilli powder. With that, turmeric powder and the garam masala. Once the raw smell goes from masalas, I am going to add the shredded chicken. After I added the shredded chicken, give a good mix. Cook the chicken. We have added salt. So here I am going to add very little. Very little amount of salt. With that I am going to add the coriander leaves or cilantro leaves. Give a good mix. After giving a good stir, switch off the flame and mix well. For making the batter, I have taken the basin or gram flour. With that, I have added hing, asafoetida well powder. Now, in that, I am going to add the remaining chilli powder. soda and we can give a mix after given a mix with all the powders i am going to add water I have changed to a big bowl for the convenience for dipping the bread. With that we can add salt a little bit. We 
can add more water the batter is ready as a next step we will do the filling with the batter i have added small amount of cilantro leaves for the flavor now we can take the bread pieces and we can cut the edges after cutting the edges i am going to apply the butter on both loaf I have applied butter on all the loaves. Now I am going to do the stuffing with the chicken. I am going to keep the other bread slice on top of the filling. Now we can do frying. For frying pakora, I have kept oil, and it is hot now. Now we can dip the bread filling into the besan batter. now the one side is cooked well so i am going to flip it over to the other side make sure the flame is in the medium otherwise it will get burnt and the other side is also cooked well make sure each sides cooked well you can flip it each side now we can take out from the oil and i am going to keep in the paper napkin the same way we can do the second bread loaf now the other bread pakora is also ready i am taking out from the oil and keeping it in the paper napkin the chicken bread pakora is ready 
as you can see it's all cooked well and it's very tasty to eat you can serve this pakora with ketchup or any chutney this is a good snack for kids so easy to make hope you like this recipe please do like share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get the notification thank you for watching thank you